Now, a KXAN News in-depth report. It's still hard. It's very hard. I don't see as many kids as there used to be. We're all working really, really hard to get it back together. It was the second worst mass shooting in U.S. history, and it helped fuel the nation's gun control debate. What happened at Sandy Hook Elementary School has a tie to Texas. And it could mean some big business for the state. Business that's already huge here. We now have about 150 gun manufacturers, everything from one-man operations to larger companies. Tonight, political reporter Josh Hinkle travels to the scene of that tragedy, finding out how it could affect the economy down here. If time heals all wounds, it's taking a long while in West Connecticut. Five months have done little to wash away the hurt. And the loss in the village of Sandy Hook. Safe to say, business is not back to normal. We're running a special for five dollars and a haircut. A bargain might be the only way for some shops to get by. Nancy Richards still feels the tragedy in her sales. That after the shooting, it just died down. And nobody was walking around, there was no laughter, there's no, you know, nobody even wanting to come down here. To face the facts, the names of 20 children and six others shot dead in December at their elementary school just down the road because I drive by the site every day. In a place so peaceful, the massacre breaks the silence here daily. And I have three daughters who all went through that school. And makes its way to the front of the gun control fight nationwide. It was really hard to figure out what normal looked like or what it was going to feel like. In the aftermath, Connecticut passed some of the strictest firearms laws in the country, limiting some guns and banning others. Welcome to Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Texas Governor Rick Perry says he saw those restrictions as an opportunity. A state that has uh, a legislature that cares more about being politically correct than they do about economic development will pay a price in the uh, environment that we live in today. I'm from Texas. I think it's a fantastic idea. The sooner the better, the faster, great. After the shooting and the growing debate, Perry sent around 30 letters to firearms companies in states facing similar measures. He writes, responding to unwarranted government intrusion into your business, you may choose to consider relocating your manufacturing operations to a state that is more business friendly. His hook? Low taxes? A fair legal system? and financial incentives. Uh, but the fact is, we have been doing economic development outreach. You can bet the state of Texas is gonna reach out to you and say, hey, you wanna come to a place where you can be freer? On first brush, that sounds despicable. On second glance, maybe understandable, even to the people of Sandy Hook. But what do I think about that? I think that's Rick Perry being Rick Perry. No stranger to the Second Amendment, he's the NRA darling who shot a coyote on his morning job, who gathers gun makers for a quick pick on Twitter, who wears the come and take it mentality as a badge. We want to invite you. If you're not already here, you consider coming to the place that still loves freedom. Perry's approach is not unlike Nancy Richards. Any new businesses, I think, is a good thing, no matter what happens. He's doing what he can to attract companies. She's doing the same thing for customers. So it's been working out so far. Perry and a handful of other lawmakers are seeing success in their efforts to attract gun makers to Texas. Colt Competition is relocating from Connecticut. We went to the opening of Shield Tactical last week in Shiner, and a company called Tracking Point will open in Pflugerville this fall. Obviously, you saw a lot of support for the governor at the NRA convention in Houston. Any opposition uh, at that site? Yeah, I mean, you would think so. We went there and looked for protesters, not a one. Hmm. Okay, Josh, thank you very much. Tomorrow night at 6, we will take an in-depth look at gun makers already here in Texas. With more companies possibly moving to the state, these smaller manufacturers might be in for some steep competition. We take you to a central Texas gunsmith who says he's ready for the challenge. And there's already, of course, a, lot, a fair number of small shops here. 
Uh, as long as the quality's there, everything will take care of itself. And you can also check out our interactive map of Central Texas gun makers. Never knew so many were in your own backyard? Well, just search for this story on the main page at KXAN.com.